option here for them. Doc. Are trying to uh, get the creeps back behind their tower. And Puppy with the body block. Oh my goodness, top lane there putting a lot of pressure over here on Reza. They do have a mango if they want to try to go for another decay, but they'll go pop the salve. Not quite oh. everything though. A little bit of a move over in the mid lane though. Going to put the pressure over on Tanisha. He's got fire flame. Needs to be careful now. Go on the other side. Gets the glimpse back though. Should be able to help get this final hit over on Tanisha. Oh no, they're not going to be able to quite get it. As a grab, maybe? He's trying to get there. He's trying to throw. Oh, he's not going to be able to go and finish off. Nisha there, so he's gonna have to just be satisfied with killing Puppy, but that is not the kill. He's proving to be a little bit difficult for GBK. He still is not, you know, trouble. doesn't have any deaths yet, but... Not DM. Doesn't have a TP here, but the rotation immediately from GPK will toss Crystallis up. Nakoda being able to keep some vision over onto Crystallis. They will eventually get DM because he's taken too much damage from the Maledicted. Eventually they'll get Crystallis now Puppy that Nisha's here. Nisha says, hmm, yeah, I'm going to find this opening on GPK. I'm going to use my lasso. And that's a lot of Firefly. I need perhaps one more hit. There it is. And now Puppy looks like he is going to be the next one to die. And Nakoda, well, JC, yeah, I mean, he can damage. <laughs> he's running forward here, Nisha. They have the glimpse, they're gonna bring him right back, but there it is, there's the lasso coming out from Nisha, but there's a lot of damage being dumped here, so they also have the tombstone, but they'll still manage to get the kill on Yamich. GPK now in for trouble, taking a lot of damage here from that shrapnel, from the clicks. A good response and rotation to make this BKB come online a lot faster. They want a little bit of a poke over on Hakoda. GPK is nearby though, so if they go for this play, they'll go for the Witch Doctor and they'll be able to find the kill. But they'll turn back around now, Nisha, forced away. Yamacha's taking too much damage, he'll kill the Undying. And now GPK is forced back. He does not have the rest of the backup that he needs. They just really don't seem to care about in. Jump for the toss into the roar, but there it is, the last one from Nisha. He'll still be able to get the kill on Zayat. Puppy though coming in, the cast bounces are nice. DM taking so much damage, he's gonna end up dying now. GPK is trying to get away. They still have that little bit of vision on him. Not sure here. He's definitely taking those ticks from Maledict quite seriously, but does have a salve. It's gonna be all right as now Hakoda running for his life. They surge up Puppy. Puppy does have a cask, but he's gonna back off as well. A little bit of a glimpse. Just feel like they're getting... Okay, the jump forward here from GPK. He sees resolution. The static storm's going to get dropped. But looks like Res will be able to walk. Oh, it gets dragged right back in again. There's the lasso over onto GPK. Plus that wall that we talked about. Bit of a roar over onto Zayats. But not quite enough damage to finish off. Is there going to Delta split now? Cast gets dropped by Puppy. Zayats is so... He was thinking about going for this. I'm gonna use the dust. Looks like DM's gonna just teleport out. He doesn't want to be here any longer. Yamish, you've already popped the flesh golem, is gonna use that pig pole to get out. Damage on Luna, too, so it feels like if they decide, and look at the way that they're playing, or rather Luna playing a little bit closely to the rest of her team in case these fights break off. So there's gonna be the blink into the bat lines from GPK. Sees Puppy, wants to try to punish him, but Puppy is absolutely gonna be fine as they turn it back around, get the kill on GPK. Nisha did pop the BKB during this. Is looking for a pick off and they drop the wall over to the side, but not gonna be able to get anything beyond what they have so far. Four, maybe? Yeah, I'll try to put the pressure over to Disruptor, but they smoke wrap around the BKB from GPK. Says he tries to chisel, but we get that lasso off over on the back lines. The Satanic doing a lot. They'll end up losing DM, but now this pressure is on. They'll take out Puppy. They're going to end up losing Yamich, but they end up losing two over on the side of Secret. And that is, of course... Good for VP, though. They want to go up to Habhagram Vision. They see Sniper. They do see Sniper. He's going to use the BKB Puppy. There's going to be a buyback now from Zyas. The Voodoo Switcheroo coming into play. Not going to be able to quite finish him off as they go. And they drop the wall. Puppy still will end up falling. DM over on the back line, though. Go in for the roar play. Still going to end up dying. Kokoda getting clicked down by Grisalis. GPK now on the run as Nisha finding himself another kill over on to Yamish. Oh my god, that fight. They're still chasing top, actually. They are. They're chasing oh, DPK as well. They want this. Good avalanche over on Tanisha. GPK turning back around. Gets a couple hits over on Tanisha. Looks like Luna's out of harm's way, but the toss, they'll get the Bat Rider, but they will eventually end. They're trying to stay grouped, but they're gonna have to send someone bottom because of Beastmaster just doing this. The dragon is forcing someone, and then they make a smoke. This is huge. So they are forcing them all back home. Nyx Assassin gonna break the smoke. They'll start off with the Death Ward, and just Yamich is instantly dead. 
A bit of that static storm dropped over the back line. Oh, but the vacuum wall plus the lasso over onto DM. DM's not gonna. Oh, at the last second, he doesn't manage to get the roar, but there's already lost so many. Coda next to fall as now Ramsey's and GPK. They're forced to leave. They have no support left on this board. Where they need some sort of a pickup on, uh, on BP. So oh, they do a smoke on smoke play. Hakoda, first one to be found. Drop stack storm, but it doesn't matter. He's already dead. GPK gets dragged back. Nice play here coming out from DM. Goes for the roar. We get that eclipse over on the back lines. Nisha will eventually fall. Ramsey's closing the gap on Crystallis. He's going to get hit back a couple times. They need a it's little bit more damage here. There it is. There's the kill, but he's going to be coming back up again. Yamich bullying Puppy over on the back lines. Ramsey, oh, the wall coming into play. Oh, God. The follow up from DM that will be able to finally take down Crystallis. As now oh Rezo, last man standing over on the side of Secret. That will be madly able to committing leave. there. That, that was absolutely crucial that loot into it as well. Got, uh, normal yeah. punch. Uh oh. Dakota will get a glimpse off, but uh, is going to keep getting chased here. Do manage to break the lasso. Still holding on to. Uh, I think he's. No, he dropped the gem in the base. No way. Is he going to get away? Fight. Nah, no, nah, I don't think he's... Oh my god, I guess he is with that Glimmer Cape. Yamich, that doesn't look to be quite as lucky. Pops his BKB. Again, that's physical damage. Even dropping the Tombstone. So both of these supports somehow still surviving. And now the Dive Bomb over onto Puppy. Should be able to just slowly chase after. Goes for the Voodoo... <laughs> the Voodoo Switcheroo, rather. Just to buy himself a little more time. But they'll still find the kill. I can't believe that both of the supports survived that. I thought... He's like, yeah, I don't want you. I want a big kill. And then finally goes back. He's like, okay, I'll take a Witch Doctor. I mean, the Tombstone Zombies probably would eventually chase him down, maybe. Oh, yeah, look at that. The immediate ping, the blink from GPK. See, pops his own BKB. The Rotho coming out from DM. They'll throw all the trees at Reza. He's just dead. The follow up with the Eclipse over onto Kristoff. Oh my god, that's so much damage. I Fast that, and furious hits over here. Hakoda is so insane. He, he gets there in time, plants the high ground ward, gets the glimpse back. Well, the shrapnel is a little bit difficult to have to deal with. Look how far back the Crystallis is able to sit. Yeah, Crystallis, he can maybe poke away the Luna from the racks here. He's gonna try. All right, they'll get the stun over onto Ramsey. The follow-up, though, was it a bit of a bait? Ramsey, they try to keep him alive, but no, they're not going to be able to. So they did a nice vacuum back over onto Hakoda. They pop those BKBs, but they still end up managing to take that half rax. As now Man. the rest of the team. That's too long stun duration. So even without yeah. Backfire, they win that fight. Mm. Ah, yes, it's Dakota. They get the lasso back over onto Yamich. Yamich getting dragged. Rezzle with the punch. They'll lose Hakoda. They'll end up losing Yamich. Once the melee rax. I guess the beautiful ancient ice shaman. Yeah, with an ice fire bomb. <laughs> Roche is up now and they're starting to take it. They know that it's there. The GPK looking, checking to make sure they don't have any vision. Goes oh, the, the blink. BKB. Look at that avalanche. Look at that damage from the tree volley. Oh my god, it's a double kill so quickly. A true hit and run coming out from the side of GPK. Buyback now from the undying. I don't think, I don't think they're going to be able to get there in time. They're thinking about it. They're running as fast as they can. Yamich, he's popped. Doesn't even pop the drums yet. Ghost drops the tombstone. Tries to get in there quickly. DM going for the war, but they have the Lotus and the BKB. Turn back around. Puppy putting out the damage with that death ward. Voodoo Citru buying him just a little bit more. Touch. I Making think their maybe BP can hold this. I don't know. Again, they still have the Aegis jump forward here from DM, but he's not going to be able to get the roar off. He started to build up, and he's not going to be able to do it. Gets it off at the last second. Only lands over onto Puppy. The buyback comes out immediately. GPK with the BKB trying to put the damage over onto Puppy. Nisha, though, dragging back GPK with that lasso. He's got the loads on now. GPK taking so many clicks. The wall gets struck. Rezo, though, pops up being run away. Hakoda's going to die next. Stalis, Ramsey's doing as much as he can here, trying to get these clicks off. Lots of buybacks coming out from both sides. Crystal's finally, they'll be Able to go get the Aegis, but there's the drag back again. Now Yamish sitting very low. Up comes Crystallis. They need to finish him off. And he's doing so much damage with that knockback too. But eventually they'll get the kill on Sniper. While making them a little hesitant to go forward. So they saw Puppy a good little stun over onto the side. They do finally get Yamish. Nisha still alive and kicking. Bye back now Sniper on Crystallis. The hit back. He's trying to get there. Good Lotus Orb over onto Nisha. Is going to be able to stay alive? That was the question. He's sitting so very low. Ramsey's he takes too much damage. There's no buyback on this Luna GPK sitting at like a hundred hit points, a couple little clicks. That's a triple kill now for Secret Nisha. Have they have GG. won it with a calculated risk of going for those tier fours and forcing wow. all the buybacks. What a game.
That was a big play to commit for the for the tier force, not taking the safe play. I could have like save with the invoker, but it looks like they kind of know what they want as it's he's so low HP. He can't really trade confidently back. A little bit of harass over to science. He's doing the same thing that he did in game number one as uh man Reza is just he's enjoying the fact he's a big tanky boy because he just solo kills luna underneath her own tower for as much damage as possible usual build we see it quite a lot bottom lane yeah. they're going they're chasing Hakoda. Hakoda, throw and drop the boundless there it is they've got the jingu it's dm still chasing after Casals here it does have those eight stacks of decay but it's just gonna walk away Bottom lane. I feel like poor Crystallis has not had much health at all. But you know what? That works out with the Boundless. They drop the Tombstone, though. They realize Puppy is not here. Nice little glimpse back as they'll finish off with a Decay. Crystallis is making his way back to bottom lane. Fortunately, he is a Monkey King, so getting glimpse to base, not that bad. A little bit of that harass going back and forth here in top lane. They have the power cogs. It's just run right through here from Rezo, and they'll be able to clean up over on Zayas. Get a little bit of revenge here. And this top lane, while this is happening, they'll find a kill on DM in the bottom. Already on the Nyx Assassin, so he uses Vendetta immediately, looking to make a move towards mid. They're prepared for the city of several sentries down. So they'll chase after Puppy. And use the hand of God. You see the teleports coming out immediately from the side of Secret. The glimpse play, though, coming in. We'll just send Crystallis back. Yamich taking a lot of damage. He's stuck over to the side, most likely going to fall here as Rezo stomps all over him. But they get the kill on Puppy's side of Secret. And it feels like uh, this time Ramses, you know, definitely slowing down. Bottom lane, though, the initiation over onto Zayas. It's already used that spike carapace, so he's not going to be able to survive this one. But it will allow for Crystals to run away his itty bitty baby arms. But <laughs> TP's coming up to the top. They want to protect Crystallis. DPK opening up, boundless, run through. Hookshot comes out from Yamich. The separation of the fight followed up with a snowball. Yamich, those having difficulty staying alive over the back lines. They lose DPK. And this reaction coming out from Secret, just realizing that, you know, they were going to try to make a jump onto Crystallis. They can get a pick off. They have to be aware. Black King Bar is still available over onto Rezo, so they're gonna have to stun lock him and pick him. And yeah, he just immediately pops follow up here from Crystals over onto GPK. They pick up the Luna, they just start shaking her around in circles. Going for the little bit of the safe, the snowball going over here onto Puppy. It's doing a lot. Hand of God comes out. They'll lose Yamich. The they'll end up losing Puppy though, thanks to that nice snowball coming in hot. As now they'll turn their attention over to Ramsey. He manages to dodge with the Manta. And just like that. Ward now though. He has to be careful. There are four here. Ooh, that hook shot. LSA, D. Oh my god, DSM just. That's the DM just disappears there completely. Static Storm is going to come to play over Crystals. This is the BKB. It's going to be the Walrus Punch. End up losing Zayas Coda next to Fall. Ramsey's just. Or sorry, Resolution just stomping all over them. Ramsey's going to be able to slow them down, though. Throws out that hit. But GPK is just getting so slowed down. Too much damage coming out from Nisha on the other side. Yamish teleporting away. Ramsey's leading the charge. Yeah, the high ground vision. They're looking over at Dion too. Yeah, there it is. The Impale, the Laguna over onto the sport. He just does not exist. As they'll follow up though. Handgun coming into play. Crystal's just giving these clicks off. And all the BKBs getting popped. Trying to just survive. They'll take down the tube over on the side. The hook shot out from Yamish. Because they just want to get out of here as soon as possible. Yeah, they're... Gonna try and scramble, they get out, but this is an impossible game to survive. Wow. Blink in with the death. Uh, Chase it for more. Oh, god. Uh, oh yeah. god, all right, all right, GPK, he is just in. Um it, that's... it was a one way from the Agonims and then the eleven percent there. This is so exciting to me because I really like watching Spellcaster Lena, and it's kinda rare that we see it uh being played in this way in competitive. I don't Oh, yeah, man, That's she just wanders burst. on through. Yeah, and this time, he, you know, he's just like, ah, I've got enough kills, you can have this one. Yeah, saving the mana, doesn't want to waste 450 to uh, to get that kill. <laughs> I know it's efficiency, but the way you say that makes it sound so BM, like, you're not even worth the mana.
Oh, top. That's a lot of uh, skeleton. GPK. All right, the snowball immediately dodging away from Rezo. He's going to blink out, and the TP's come in. Nice glimpse back from Koda, but the BKB is already up and running, and they just pick up GPK. They just shake him around. The Luna just melts so far back and away from Nisha, and they'll kill GPK. They've had enough. They just call GG. Team Secret is in TI form. They are going to the international. There's no way Puppy's missing one of these. Wow, that is big. Puffy is once again